Lots of snow still here in the end of February. That's for sure. I've even got a glacier on my roof. And the Swiss Alps in my front yard. Well, the February sun sets on another useless day that's end is spent. And I haven't been up to much. Most snow in Canada in 34 years, or at least Ontario. So, what can I do? I go snowmobiling. I'm retired, so my shop is pretty much empty all the time. I really don't work on too much anymore. Did a hell of a lot of snow plowing. <laughs> yeah, usually every year I just have one pile there. Not the whole backyard. So since I've been doing nothing interesting, I've been catching up on all the movies and TV shows I missed. Well, doing YouTube for four years, you know, busily doing that. So I found them by my son. He recommended them to me, Adam, my son, and it was, I found them on icefilms.com, an amazing website where you can watch free current late model movies and TV shows. And so I kind of got addicted to that for a while, still, still doing it. But, you know, the way I think is, if there's nothing to make a video of, there's no use making a bad video. I mean, a bad video sucks and it destroys your reputation for making good videos. So I'd rather go three months without making a video than every week making a bad video because I've got nothing interesting to make a video about. So that's my life story right now. The only other news is one of my kitties died. My all gray male cat I got taken by coyotes in early January and now he's gone forever. A lot of coyotes in the London area have eaten pets been a couple stories in the newspapers about it. <sighs> sure wish this shit would disappear. Ice and snow and all that crap. But Teddy's still fine. I keep him indoors most of the time, but he does have to go out. It is kitty mating season, you know. And his mother and sister are doing great, as you've seen on the video, but Teddy's on the prowl right now, so he's a little camera shy. Now, I did attempt to start all the cars on the farm on one cold and snowy winter's day and as you can see there's a pile of batteries there and battery chargers but not much luck since the snowstorm came in early December and I didn't get a chance to get all the batteries out of the cars and keep them charged for the winter or and put them back in or whatever only about four or five started I won't tell you which ones yet all the rest had uh, batteries that were too weak to start or completely dead so they're all now charged up so I'll have to go back and put them all in the cars and see if all the cars can be resurrected or not. Never know. Usually my Japanese ones start, but I won't tell you which ones did or which ones didn't. It'll keep you in suspense. Whoa, slippery down here. But when the weather's cha weather changes, which should be in about three weeks, when this, all this white stuff should start to melt, I'll be back to making some normal David's Farm videos, although it will be too muddy to move the cars around for a while too considering we have six feet of snow up at the farm that has to melt. I have made a few cameo appearances on Rick's video and well videos and even Bloke's video but Bloke doesn't come up that often in the winter I don't know why it must be because he's English and can't handle the cold and snow but he did buy a snowmobile this year so he's having some fun anyways. So all is good I've been around and now I'll go back downstairs and edit this video so you can at least see my update. I guess when spring comes, I definitely will be busy, but we still got mountains of snow to melt. Yep, and kitties to hug, and all that good stuff. Right? Yep. So bye for now. So I guess I'll go back to watching another movie on my favorite site I just found a couple months ago. Cool, check it out. And I'm not advertising for anybody. It's just a great site. <laughs>